The main question in this video, folks, is do you need all of this to make some really good shotgun rounds? The answer is no. Okay, boys and girls, one of the first obstacles you're going to have to overcome with your range holes and not using a press are going to be if this brass was fired out of an autoloader. If any of these rounds here that you get from your range are fired out of an autoloader, you're going to have issues with the brass, resizing the brass. If any of these rounds, or most of these rounds, will be shot out of a single barrel, double barrel, or a pump gun, you're not gonna run into any issues. Now, the first thing, first way to cross that hurdle is going to be to take your recovered range holes and check and make sure they will chamber in your single barrel, double barrel, or pump gun. Trying to deal with this, to check this with an auto loader would just be a big pain in the butt. Okay, my old 870 here. Now, if you had a break open um, single shot or break open double barrel, even easier to check this but you're going to want to check your range holes you just put them in your pump gun or your break open see how easily that chambered this double a hole was obviously fired out of a single barrel double barrel or a pump gun no sizing issues needed see how easily it goes in and out of my shotgun all right let's check another one we got a nitro gold here let's check it See how easy it closed on that? Grabs it, comes out easy. No issues. You're not going to have any issues when you reload this. Once you've checked it, then set it to the side with the good ones. The same with the European and uh, Spanish type holes. Here's a Fiocchi Clear. I love these because you can see what's inside them. This one has an issue. How about that? Hit the lens of my camera. You see how that you see how that stuck in there, guys? That was probably fired from an auto loader. That's what I'm talking about. Here we have a Rio. I haven't tested this. I'm running this along. I was hoping I'd have one that uh, that wouldn't work. But see, I can take and just push it right up in there with my thumb on that Rio hole. No issues. Federal. Federal field. I can already, I've already pushed that all the way into battery. So that was not going to be an issue. Once again, the Fiocchi that was binding up a little bit here. I can push that up into my barrel right there. And as soon as that brass hits, I feel resistance. See here, that is not wanting, wanting to chamber, even with me bumping it with my thumb. See, let's see if I can, all right, let's get this back out of here. as compared to the nitro gold watch just take my finger and push it all the way up into battery no issues that's gonna load just fine we'll just pull that out with the extractor see what I'm talking about guys that's how you check to see if your brass needs to be resized if it does you just need to set it to the side if you don't have a press and all that that is an issue for later discussion but that's how you check and make sure your brass is going to be good uh, to load without a press I can hear all of you now wait what the heck are you talking about well I hear from a lot of folks they just don't have access to all this stuff here the uh, the main question is and remains how can you put together some pretty effective uh, shotgun rounds without all this fancy equipment well I'm going to show you just how effective just how effective a shotgun round can be that you can put together yourself you can 
if you've got the right data and just a few tools that you probably got laying around the house aside from a roll crimp tool that's all we need to find we need to find us a roll crimp tool we're gonna to talk about that right now okay roll crimp tool the most important thing in this video is the roll crimp tool and I've got this is this was a little cheap plastic roll crimp tool you still may be able to find some of these online they are crappy pieces of junk stay away from this stuff folks that plastic roll crimp tool just stay away from it then we have this is the ballistic products double pin roll crimp tool excellent tool excellent piece of equipment right here now we starting to get into a little bit of money we're getting into our Italian roll crimp tools from Gype G A E P Gype they make some super high quality roll crimp tools I have not demonstrated these for you guys yet but that will be in a future video these are some outstanding tools we're not talking about that today none of that today why because I'm going to be using all the tools that I'm using here in this video today to create these outstanding performing shotgun rounds I made with no power whatsoever no electricity no drill no press nothing but hand tools and what that means is what I'm using today is this 100 year old Lyman roll crimp tool yes 100 year old Lyman crimp tool this one was made somewhere around the early 1900s I've got a couple of these picked them up off of eBay for about 20 bucks a piece years ago now I I'm sure they still on all over eBay last time I looked they had plenty of them there and I think they were going for around 30 bucks a piece now for these old antique roll crimp tools you can find them in all gauges but I like them they do a really good job and this is the only power that it requires for this right here all right let me show you what I come up with and just how easy this is well folks the answer to the question if you can load without a press absolutely you surely can now all I have I've got two and three quarter inch here when we're getting into high brass and three inch is uh, you are getting a little bit uh, a little bit different type of scenario but all I've demonstrated here are the two and three quarter inch hulls that I've turned in some pretty impressive uh, loads without having to use a press only only tool I have to use is a roll crimp tool which you could pick up just about anywhere and pretty uh, pretty good on the cheap 20 30 bucks and and you can pick up a good roll crimp tool but the main thing we're talking about right here is these holes that we have that we have pulled out of the uh, the range drum we've got federal we've got double a red we've got some double a grays we got uh, nitro golds we got STS some Fiocchi Rio and here we've got some ballistic products brand new value hulls that aren't primed but we're gonna talk about that as well but all the tools you're gonna need is I got a rubber hammer plastic hammer will work regular hammer will work I've got a couple of three inch nails right here spiral or just regular old galvanized nail three inch uh, nail a uh, a three-eighths quarter inch socket deep socket old beat up I've used it for God knows what else a three inch extension for the uh, for this little setup for the three-eighths deep um, quarter inch socket and here is a Chinese 9 16 socket take a look at this see it's got a hole all the way through the socket you can get these on the cheap and I've got a little old scrap pile piece of block of wood right here but we've already run these I've already shown you how to check and make sure that the brass is good that these did not come out of an auto loader and they won't go in your single double or pump gun whenever you go to start getting these ready to reload here we got a red double-a primer old primer still installed you want you want to be able to leave the point on your nails folks because you want to be able to get in here and get it on the center if you look in at that the old primer 
you see has got a hole in it, the end of that spent primer. You want to put the point of that nail right in the hole of that spent primer. Just like that, set it on top of your 9 sixteenths socket, which is over your block of wood. A couple of wax with your uh, with your rubber hammer, and there's your spent primer. Folks, do be careful when you're doing this. I hit I I, I whacked the ever loving mud out of my finger and cut it with that uh, with that hole. So be careful when you're doing this stuff. Hey, you guys are worth it. I love y'all a lot. All right, that's uh that is discarded. Now. We've got, for different scenarios, we need, uh, I've got some Rio primers, Fiocchi primers, Chidite primers, and standard fit anything CCI or anything American CCI primers. So, with the Winchester, Winchester Western primer would work fine, but I had the CCI right in front of me today. So, we just grabbed the CCI. The Chidite would work good with your American hulls, like this. And see, you don't really need anything else other than this nice old flat piece a 2x4 soft pine, get our CCI primer, get it started in our hole. I just pressed it in just like that right on top of the wood, like that. Primer installed. You look down the side of it, make sure it looks nice, feels nice and level, and all that it's not pumped up is good and recessed. And that one is perfect. Now, that's, that's the exact same with all the American holes, a paper base wide in the, uh, in the Federal and all that here. This is a great one here. Let's just go ahead and we'll punch that one out too. We'll get our nail and the primer like that. It won't take much. So I'm just lightly hitting that, folks. Did not want to knock any more holes, uh, knock any more holes in my finger. See there? There's our spent primer. Now, take our federal hole, get our CCI primer right here. Take your hole, get it started. You'll feel just don't take much pressure. Got it started. See, didn't need a press to do that. Pretty impressive, ain't it? And when you're running into stuff like your European holes, uh, uh, Spanish holes, European, all these Euro Spanish holes like Rio and like Fiocchi, and don't forget your brand new value holes that you get from, from uh, ballistic products. These are estate holes. What fits, you want a, a primer to fit good and tight. Rio is a little bit bigger than all these others. Fiocchi is pretty good. You know Fiocchi primer works great. Fiocchi hole, it'll work okay in the Rio and the estate and all that, but I prefer to get the bigger Rio, the Rio Nobel Sport are your two biggest primers. And I happen to have some, I've got both, but we're gonna use the Rio on the value holes and the actual Rio hole. So, let me see, we got, no need to demonstrate, like I said, the Chidite primers work great in American holes as well, but we got some new 616 Fiocchis. So let's get one of these clear. Man, you love to find a bucket full of these things here. Look at him, Miss Joanne came out, doctor me all up. I'm ready to go for many more miles. All right. Okay, folks, Fiocchi hole that we've checked, will chamber in our, in our shotgun. I don't have a double gun or a single gun. We checked them in my 870. Get our nail, get it into the hole of the spent primer. Like I said, just gently. I said gently, that one, that one took a little bit more oomph, but there it is. And I'm also trying to not knock a hunk, another hunk out of my finger again too. All right, 
Fiocchi 616. The, uh, the Rio primers would work. Nobel Sport primers would work. But once you started using those bigger primers, you got to stay with them because they're a little bit bigger than the other ones and they'll widen out this primer pocket and you won't be able to use them again. So you can sometimes you can get by using the American primers with the Fiocchi, but there's no need. Fiocchi primers are excellent, excellent primers, and there's usually plenty of them at the gun store. So there, folks, I basically about pushed that one all the way in. It's, it's not quite, but it's about 95% all the way in. So it's only going to take just a little bit of a bump. And it is perfectly flush. I'm talking about the, uh, the Rio. Find the hole in the spent primer. Rio hole, Rio primer. I pushed it in there. What is that? About halfway right there, just by hand. That is just how hard that is, folks, with the tools you probably already got laying around the house. Right there. Okay, folks, the brand new estate value hole from Ballistic Products. I like using the uh, Rio primers because they fit in there nice and snug. Got it started. There you go. Now, your brand new value hole, ready to load. And these things are cheap. Okay, the trimming part. I used medic scissors and I used the Ballistic Products spinning trim. Now, this does a really pretty job. It does. But, these shears, if you got to pair them around the house, it works just as good. Works just as good for me. You just find the edge the very edge of the crimp right here and just cut it straight across just like that a little out around here will not make any difference on that roll crimp tool it'll fold it right over like a dream spin and trim double layer rid press it all the way up against or stop once we get it adjusted and then spin it back towards you. Nice, beautiful, and clean, and straight. Okay, folks, let's put one together. The first one is a 12 pellet double alt. It's like a two and three quarter inch double alt mag. Because we're using 12 pellets. We're using 12 pellets of 33 cal double alt ballistic product super buck. That's what we're using in the first load. Let's put it together. We have a ballistic products value hole, which is a brand new estate that we put a Rio uh, primer in it. We've already demonstrated that for y'all. So, new which means it's full length, already ready to load. All we were lacking was a primer. We installed Rio primer. Now, we're going to put in, we're going to install 29 grains of long shot. That is a 2.2 cc Lee Dipper, 2.2 lead dipper, put them in the scales and they, they run everywhere from 28.8 to like 29.2. So average level dipper, long shot, is going to be 
29 grains, long shot, 2.2 cc of the dipper. All right, got our powder installed. Now we need a Federal 12S4, recognize the brown Federal 12S4 wide. We removed the pedals, took my scissors, just removed the pedals, and we're left with the 12S4 base, just the base. We install that in our value hole. Now we're going to get 12 Ballistic Products Double Alt Super Bug. Probably got enough there. Some dang good looking shot. Stack them in here by threes. looks about like that. Now, I'm going to get us a clear overshot card. You can get these from Ballistic Products, Precision. I get mine from Ballistic Products and Precision. But it's a clear segmented overshot card. Drop it in there. And I have, uh, I have these everywhere, folks. These are outer gun wipes. These things are they're, they're dispensable oil rags that have the outer's gun oil on them. And I just have them laying here on the bench. I take the round and it puts a little shiny film of gun oil right on the top of this, of this hull. Now, let's go over here to our 100 year old Lyman roll crimp hole. Put a little pressure on it, start winding, heat it up a little bit, put some pressure on it. You'll feel it. It'll roll it till it stops. That feels about right there. See, no buffer in this round. No buffer. Absolutely beautiful round. Now, let's go down to the range and show you how this worked out. All right, folks, you ready? Here we go. Nice. 1209. He kicked it off. Oh, yeah. It, it, it'll just kick it right on out on his home. She thinks she's an auto loader. There you go. Now, folks, if you ever watch my videos, you know my old 870 loves double alt. That's one of its favorite things. How many we got there, Hammer? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine or 12. Nine or 12. And we're just under, we're at about 45 meters. We're just under 50 yards. Shoot, man, that is a killer. Over 1,200 foot per second out of a two and three quarter inch load, not using a loading machine. Okay. Thought that was pretty good. Where do you see this? The, uh, this is a tried and true, one of the first ones that I developed that really performed absolutely outstanding not just awesome but outstanding it is a go-to load for great performance it's uh, it's like the little brother to the 14 pellet 3 inch double alt using the double uh, a 12 red wide or the CB 1138 clay buster equivalent the uh, 14 pellet is an outstanding performer and the 10 pellet little brother in the two and three quarter inch is just as outstanding of a performer but same hole the value hole which is the estate with the Rio primer I've got to measure out here I can't find my 2.8 cc dipper my 2.8 cc dipper throws really close to 32 grains of IMR blue and uh, I just can't seem to find it I don't know what happened to it so I'm gonna have to use my scales here but the it's the 2.8 cc dipper and uh, in the IMR blue powder which uh, IMR Blue and uh, Alliant Blue Dot, outstanding powders for this load. Either one works equally well. But I've got the IMR Blue out, and that's what I use at the range, so that's what I'm going to show you guys. But I've got the, uh, I think I've got a 2.2 cc dipper here, or, uh, or 2.5, I'm sorry. 2.5 cc dipper throws 30 grains of IMR Blue. So... But I'm going to get my scales here because I need this to be right. 
We want 32 grains for this load. And I'm sorry you guys can't see this, but like I said, I had to, I put this thing together and I can't find, I looked in several kits and I can't find my, my uh, 2.8 Lee CC dipper for whatever reason. I'll probably find five of them whenever I get done shooting the video. But, uh, anyway, I measured it out here on my Hornady scales. That's 32 grains of IMR blue. A Clay Buster 1138-12, which is the uh, AA-12 red equivalent wide. That is a great, one of my favorite buckshot wides here. Install the wad just like it is. And I acquired some recovered federal double alt nickel and copper plated. Or I should say copper and nickel because there's just a few nickel plated pellets in there. From uh, Bud out west that we made a trade and I got a, a bunch of this copper plated buckshot. Or this plated buckshot double alt. This plated double alt buckshot. It was recovered from federal I'm sure one of the federal factories but anyway we're stacking these in here by twos we need ten of them ten just like that and we're going to use buffer in this load and I just cover the pellets All this new stuff is real easy. Just cover them. Same clear overshot card. Put a clear overshot card here. Hit it with our uh, outers oil rag. Just put us a little bit of gun oil right there on the top. And let's go over here to the 100 year old lineman roll crimp tool. Feels like it stopped right there. That is a beautiful round. All right, let's head on down to the range and show you how they worked out. Don't get no bitter. I told you folks you just you thought you had seen a pattern with that other one three, four, hammer five. said he had to have just just held it low or uh, there's so there's one two three four five six seven eight eight of the ten right eight here. of ten right there in a lower eighth of the paper yeah that have been up there oh yeah that's uh that's killer dealer we're gonna shoot i'm gonna shoot another one of those i'm gonna shoot it just to make sure and uh that it's uh that hammer just just pulled that one low but look, i'm gonna shoot another one of these for you guys and see if we can get them centered on paper all right, now I'm using a core sight, front bead even with the top, with the back two. That's what I was trying to do. I may have just held it at the bottom part of it and just pulled it low. But anyway, okay, here we go. Eleven sixty, pretty dang consistent. I, was about to say, that was about the same, I told you, folks, that's a load for the books. That is just a go-to. You can just count on that. We got two in the bull. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine or ten. How many can you cover with your hand right there in that center? Is that uh, cover those hammer? Five. That's five. five double alt or six, Either depending way. on yeah, depending on how you do it. Five or six pellets. That's double alt, thirty-three cal double alt, right there in the center of the paper. Boys and girls, you just can't go long, wrong with that load. And I didn't even use a loader to do it. Used an old night early nineteen hundreds Lyman roll crimp tool to do this load right here okay folks this next one we have a once fired which this is a Remington STS I fired a gun club down at the range with this load but the gun club STS nitro gold work equally well with this load I just had a STS laying here under the bench so like I said they work equally well so I'm gonna show you using an STS 
but we're going to be shooting a gun club down at the range. But like I said, I have noticed no difference whatsoever. Winchester Western Primer installed, cut, we cut the crimp out of the STS so we can roll crimp it. We need uh, a 2.2 cc dipper of long shot powder. which is 29 grains. You guys just looking for the weight. And you loaders, of course, you know that you don't have to. These loads work great whether you use all your tools or not. Doesn't You see it doesn't matter. 29 grains, a long shot. CB1138. I just use the Clay Buster number now because AA does not make these anymore. Winchester does not make this wad anymore. The only one that makes the uh, the copy is Clay Buster. And their number is all you have to do anywhere, whether it's Ballistic Products Precision, uh, anywhere that you go, um, Midway USA, looking for this wad, you enter CB1138. You can usually get by with just entering 1138 and it'll point you straight to the Clay Buster wad, this wad here over the 29 grains of uh, long shot this is more like a tactical type load but it's got plenty of pop if you wanted to use it for hunting or, or varmints or whatever else great for kids because this doesn't have a whole lot of backlash there's there, there's not a whole lot of kick with this load it's just like a one ounce game load because we're using uh, about one ounce or just under like 0.95 ounces of lead payload weight which is three which is nine 31 cal single alt stacked in here by threes i'm gonna grab nine of my powder coated 31 cal single alt this is made with the Sharpshooter USA mold. But now you can buy these. You can buy them from anywhere. You get your shot from Ballistic Products, Precision, Midway. Three. Six. Nine. Just like that. You can cover it with buffer if you want. You can shoot it without. Doesn't matter which. I'm gonna just put throw a little buffer over this. If I was loading up a bunch of these, I don't even worry about the buffer and all that. Clear overshot card. A little bit of oil. And let's roll it up. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful little round. That ain't but about two, two and a quarter inches there. All right, let's go down to the range and show you how it worked out. Okay, folks, this is one of our cut down. This is a, um, a Remington Gun Club hole that I cut the crimp out of so we could roll crimp it. It's so once fired, it got a Winchester Western Primer. We've got uh, a 2.2 cc lead dipper, which is 29 grains of long shot in it. And we've got the AA12 red or the Clay Buster 1138 equivalent wad in here. And we've got nine 31 cal single alt stacked in here by threes. No buffer, clear segmented overshot card. That's about as simple as it gets. All right, you're rolling. Ears covered. Oh, okay. Cover. All right. Yeah, it's getting to be a pain in the butt now. 
We said, Hammer said we got eight and nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Eight of nine. No buffer. Nine. I've got all nine on paper. How about that? And that was just about as simple as you can get, folks. No buffer. Nothing like that. And I cut that out of an old Remington gun club hole. Just cut the crimp out so we could roll crimp it. And uh, got all nine pellets on that 28-inch circle here at just under 50 yards. 45 meters at just under 50 yards. Hold on just a minute, guys. This is just a bonus. This one's on me. I wanted to show you that this, uh, my favorite 10 pellet and 12 pellet loads I've got uh, with the uh, with the new value hulls, you can put together a triple alt load. Now, we didn't shoot this one down at the range. Just didn't have any in the belt to shoot, but this works great. I've shot hundreds of them. They work outstanding. The uh, We've got the value hull here, Rio Primer. We need... 30 grains of IMR Blue. Now remember, that's the uh, remember that's the 2.5 cc dipper throws 30 grains of IMR Blue. Level 2.5 cc dipper. I uh, threw it on my scales, and it is exactly 30 grains. Exactly. I ain't got an extra camera here, folks, so I'd show you. But I figure most of you trust me. All right. Thirty grains of IMR blue. Now, what we have here is the base off of the 1138 the clay buster 1138 wide this is that wide with the pedal pedals removed off of it have to do that for the triple all drop that down in there in our value hole which is in a state and need eight We need eight triple off. Stack in here by twos. Eight triple off. Stack in there by twos. We're going to cover it with Ballistic Products Original Buffer. Same clear overshot card. I actually demoed this load, very, very similar load in the my basic buckshot reloading 101. I'll put a card right here to that video. If there's if I have any of you guys out there, any subscribers that have not seen that, really good stuff in that video. It's a little old, but still applies. Still got really, really good stuff in there. This load being one of them. All right. Come on, you aggravating. And that is a beautiful round. All right. Well, folks, that's going to wrap it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. It took a long time to get this thing together, but it's well worth it. I've heard from a lot of folks that just don't have the tools and wanting to know if you could put together some outstanding loads without any of these special tools. The short answer is yes, sir. All right, guys, we'll be back with another one very, very soon. Bye-bye.